Um, my name is Margaret Ann Windsor, and I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace in 41, brought to Moulton, Alabama, near uh, what became NASA in Huntsville, and there is a link to that, who paid for it, scientists, money, treaties. But before I lose you here, I want to show you me. This is just the remnants of me. This woman and her brood have successfully are spending my money. She's illegal. Her father, George VI, helped take down the real king of England, King Edward VIII, my father. This is George VI, Elizabeth's father, in 39, the year I was born. Uh, here he is with Roosevelt, and that's supposed to be Elizabeth's mother, the Queen Mum. The Queen Mother is my mom, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe Windsor, born in Madison, Wisconsin, sister to Georgia O'Keefe, the artist. My father, this is the real King Edward VIII, was never married to Wallace Simpson. A 99-year seal was put on all the lives. He was married to my mom. And then I was born, and there were papers drawn up. My father was trying to get all this um, legal and everything till he could get things settled. They were doing nothing but telling lies about my father. In the United States, it's the New World Order, the Jews. Uh, and then it became the blacks in South Africa here. Before I knew, I, I was... Uh, kidnapped and brought over here. I found out in 83 when I ran in a political campaign. And I'm going to stop there because, um, it, you know, I put this on, I've been putting it on YouTube. I've taken it to the press. Uh, they're not going to tell it because of, um, I'll quote this this morning. Israel, you go back to Balfour, back in, I believe, 21, was the defense minister, I believe is his title, um, of uh Great Britain, the UK. So then started the Jewish state. Uh, and now then, it's all been taken over. The British, the United States took it over when George signed illegal treaties after he'd taken my father out and kidnapped his own niece. Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers, and uh, John Kennedy's father, um, Joe, was uh, ambassador appointed by Roosevelt and helped him by kidnapping. So that's the reason for the Warren Commission and the cover-up. Uh, this is Larry Flint, and I'm showing this because Larry Flint was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, while I was doing a book on medical malpractice called MD a License to Kill. And uh, he was shot, and his attorney killed on March the 6th of 78. This is Cobb County, Georgia, where I was living and where so much was done to me. And I'd written about Larry McDonald, U.S. congressman, and mind control and murders of, uh, at the hospital where he worked, um, Piedmont Hospital in Atlanta, Warren and Rosina Matthews. But I'm going to lose you here. This was uh, lose you because the tape will go off, and I, if I try to give explain what's going on, then I run out of tape. Uh, I got a call. I, I didn't see Larry Flynn after uh, October of 83 during that campaign. I was flown out there to replace Larry McDonald, whose plane was shot down. The Korean jetliner was a passenger en route from Juneau, Alaska to Seoul, South Korea. All aboard it uh, went down and died in the ocean. But uh, I was in D.C. and still had a car that was furnished by Larry Flint Lease. Uh, so I got this in April of 84, uh, an endorsement he did, saying I knew who was responsible for his shooting um, March the 6th. He mentioned um, Murphy and uh, Alvarez, Larry McDonald, and State Senators Thomas Murphy and Culver cover-up kid. Well, that's also cryptic. Murphy gets into Murphy's Law. Uh, I could go on and on. You have to see it because it ties in the murders that have been done. And no, Larry Flint didn't commit the murders. It's the agency that did it. 
but then it's the United States that is responsible for the whole thing. Channel 7 here, all the TV media knew about me before I did about my kidnapping everything. Um, they say on TV, they say their country is referring to the United States. Well, they've just had Independence Day, and they don't have to explain what they've done to me and my kids, that I'm the legal heir, uh, Victoria II. They don't have to explain it. I'm a joke to all of them. Now then, I wanted to get to this. This is a woman who's committed every crime in the book. Every treaty they've signed is illegal. The one especially putting United States military bases on everything British. Take down of the British. What else can you do? You steal the real monarch and torture me all my life and my sons, Mark and Scott, and install your own monarch, Elizabeth, and her dad and brood. Um, I want to go to this because I put it on there before this tape runs out. Uh, my illness was used against me. In 86, I came to Roanoke, and I couldn't get jobs anymore or a place to live. I was totally shut down. Now, what happened was the law enforcement and the agencies used my illness. I lived on the Appalachian Trail, froze, starved. Uh, I had my tents when I was able to get them. I'm allergic to chemicals, let me say that. Uh, I have a, a immune disorder, and if I have to live and inhale, you have to breathe, and it's deliberately put in an apartment or a studio apartment or my tent, then it's pretty bad. It causes inflammation, my kidneys, et cetera, et cetera. So over time, it really takes a toll on you. Now, I'm just going to focus on affordable corporate suites, and I've put this up before, but I want to clarify something. Uh, Cooperman, uh, Lance Cooperman owns them, and he owns quite a few of them over the state, and about four here in Roanoke, Salem. Uh, I have gone from Virginia, tried to go somewhere else, and after when I would get somewhere a few days later, the same thing would happen. I, the law doesn't protect me; it's helping orchestrate this mess. Uh, I would have the air conditioning go out after I'd paid my money in rent, fumes that were killing me, and I can't tell you how bad it makes me uh, sick. It can. When I'm force-fed them, I should have been able to live anywhere in comfort. Uh, but this was done illegally and deliberately because they get stuff on people. Or in this case, these people just loved it. I'm not going to go into all they did because a uh, state trooper, Virginia state trooper, took me to one of them. And I've got uh, affordable corporate suites off Starkey Road in August of '09. I went for 17 months uh, inhaling. When they'd come in my room, they would soak my linen. They would, the air conditioning, you have no idea how it pumped out uh, fumes and air. And they all knew it. But I want to say this. Um, May the 14th of this year, I had gone back there simply because hoping that it would be better. I had to leave where I was at because they were doing the same thing after 14 months to change owners, and, and I was dying there. Uh, so this is uh, here, and it's going to run out. The tape's going to run out. And so I just wanted to clarify. They told me to get out. They wouldn't take my rent anymore when I told them they couldn't come in and use the chemicals that they were using anymore, that please let me get non-allergenic. But they were deliberately using uh, chemicals and fumes to clean that would kill a horse. Now then, I wanted to clarify something. They said here um, that I had... Um, not let them uh, have exterminating uh, the exterminator come in. That's a lie. I never told them they couldn't come in. And not clean the carpet and upholstery when scheduled. That's another lie. When I moved here, and this is going to go out, um, I moved into a room that was more expensive, and they come and told me they'd move me into 115, a studio. I moved, just before I moved into it, they told me the girl that, who had lived there for two years that I couldn't move in until they thoroughly cleaned it and did the carpet and just everything, made sure it was okay. Well, while Terry Sawyer, who works for the government, by the way, and who's been involved in all this, 
everywhere I go.